This is the Hustlers Corner. Hello guys, welcome to Big Homie Smooda from Johannesburg, South Africa. Before we start the video, go straight to that shop shop sign and, and press that click button on the count of one, two, three. Let's go. Click, 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 click. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. This is the Hustlers Corner. A quick one. How to activate your blessings. Very easy. Act like you're blessed. Do like you're blessed. Assume you are blessed and you will be blessed. That's how you activate your blessings. A lot of people... <laughs> guys, how you activate your blessings is to act as if. Is to eliminate negativity from your mind. Is to focus on what you like. Is focus on the things that make you happy. Focus on the things that um, generate your interest. Things that you're passionate about. Is to assume you already have that which you're always asking for from God. Act like you're already blessed. Like, thank you, Lord. Thank you for my amazing family, even when you pray. Thank you for my beautiful car. Thank you for my amazing home. Even if you don't have a home yet of your own, assume you're blessed. When you pray, assume as if you already have that which you're asking for from God. Don't ask things from God. Thank God. You're praying wrong by asking for things from God. When you're asking for things from God, it means you don't have faith. Because he's told you that he's already given you everything you need. What more do you want? Why do you keep looking at some big man in the sky, expecting him to give you things and still asking, hey, Nkulu, Nkulu, please give me this. Nkulu, Nkulu, Nkulu has already given you guys everything you need though. I don't understand how a lot of people don't understand how to activate their blessings. It's in the Bible. In the Bible it says he's given you everything you need. So start acting like he's giving you all those things. Appreciate those blessings. Yes, they're still coming, but how you activate them and make sure that they will come is by assuming you already have them. That's why you get a lot of people encouraging you to have, encouraging you to have things like the vision board, things that you want for you to keep seeing them daily, for you to keep seeing them on your phone, for you to keep speaking as if you already have them or speaking as if you are that person that you're striving to become. You must assume that you're already blessed. And I, 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 the thing is, I always fall into this trap of making myself the example, but I guess I, I don't have any other um, <laughs> example I can use. My name is Sibusi, so I always say to people, I'm blessed. Even when people greet me, how are you? I say, I'm blessed, how are you doing? When I say it with my mouth, it means I am sending it to the universe. Imagine how many times how many people greet me a day. How many times do I verbally say with my mouth, I'm blessed. And I act like I'm blessed. Whether I've got a hundred rands in my bank account, whether I've got a minus thousand rands in my bank account, whether I don't have any money, whether things are tough, whether I don't know how to pay my debt, I'm always blessed. I'm always assuming I'm blessed because I know my blessings are coming. That's how you activate your blessings. Act like you're blessed. Walk like you're blessed. Talk like you're blessed. Don't be arrogant. Be humble about your blessings. But act like you're blessed. Know that you're blessed. Guys, you have to... They call it conviction, right? Claim it. Claim the blessing. Even if it's not there yet, but just claim it. Claim it as if you, it's already there. When you close your eyes and pray and you thank God for it, even if it's not there yet, the feeling, feel it. Feel as if you already have it. If it's a car, smell those beautiful brand new leather seats. If it's a house, see it every day. You know, on my YouTube, DJ Smooth TV, I put up a video there by Drake where he talks about um, the law of attraction, about how the house that he's living in right now, that, that's, that costs millions and millions of dollars, if not over $100 million. He says back in the day when he was still broke, he used to pick up his friend or his girlfriend or something like that, and he used to drive around that Calabasas area. He says Prince used to live in that area. He says he used to visualize himself having or owning a home there. Talks about the law of attraction in that video. Drake talks about conviction. He talks about claiming it. He talks about those days when he was broke. He used to assume he lived there already. He says he used to see that house every day even before it was there. So start acting like you're blessed, start walking like you're blessed, start talking like you're blessed because you are already blessed. And people like me love you. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. This is The Hustler's Corner.